Have you ever wondered what goes on in someone else's mind? Understanding individuals around us can be quite enigmatic, yet imagine if we had the ability to peek into their inner world. This quest isn't about supernatural abilities. It's about harnessing compassion, insight, and practical advice from Buddhist teachings. Join us as we embark on a journey to uncover 13 distinct approaches to better comprehend those around us, drawing upon the wisdom of the ancient sage, Gautama Buddha. Understanding others is vital. Every day, we interact with a variety of people, family, friends, and sometimes strangers. Not comprehending their actions or emotions can lead to bewilderment or distress. However, envisioning the world from their vantage point can simplify and enhance life for everyone involved. Buddha emphasized that our minds are the genesis of all perceptions and interactions. Thus, comprehending others is intricately linked to understanding our own selves. Throughout this exploration, we will delve into diverse aspects such as emotions, body language, and the variety in human thought processes. Utilizing relatable anecdotes and illustrations, we aim to demystify these concepts. Consider those times when a friend's mood seemed off or when your intentions were misinterpreted. We will dissect such scenarios to sharpen our skills in empathy and comprehension. Buddhism advocates for a deep-seated kindness and understanding of others. This philosophy isn't merely idealistic. It's a pragmatic approach to enhancing our collective existence. When we truly grasp the experiences and emotions of others, we are naturally inclined to be more patient and considerate. This not only improves the lives of others, but enriches our own experiences as well. As we proceed, reflect on your own experiences. Recall moments of feeling misunderstood or when you struggle to empathize with another's emotions. These reflections are not just reminiscences, but tools for learning and personal growth. This journey is designed to be accessible and understandable. Regardless of your familiarity with Buddhism, an open mind and a willingness to view the world from a fresh perspective are all that's required. The art of understanding others is a transformative skill that enhances peace, happiness, and kindness in our lives. With every new insight, our daily interactions become richer and more meaningful. Embark on this adventure with a smile and an open heart, prepared to embrace a new understanding of the world and the people within it. Firstly, recognizing emotions is akin to learning a new language. Just as words form sentences, emotions weave together the narrative of an individual's life. We'll start by identifying basic emotions, happiness, sadness, anger, fear, and others, akin to learning the alphabet before forming words and sentences. Buddha encouraged us to delve beyond the surface appearance. He understood that the exterior often conceals a more complex interior landscape. We'll share simple, relatable stories to illustrate how emotions can be understood and navigated. As we continue, we will explore how personal biases and experiences color our perception of others' emotions, Buddha stated. We are what we think, highlighting the profound influence of our thoughts on our perception of the world. To enhance our understanding, we'll learn practical tips and exercises. For instance, the next time you converse with someone, pay close attention to their facial expressions and tone of voice. Try to understand the emotions behind their words. It's like being a detective, except your mission is to understand a person's emotional state rather than solve a mystery. Moreover, we will delve into the concept of empathy, the capacity to feel and understand what another person is experiencing. Empathy allows us to connect on a deeper level, fostering kindness and support. Buddha emphasized love and compassion as fundamental virtues. By understanding and empathizing with others, we can radiate love and positivity, significantly impacting our daily interactions and the broader world. Each emotion we encounter is a hint to understanding the intricate workings of the mind. As we proceed, remember 
that this is merely the beginning of a profound journey of discovery and connection. Emotions are the words in the narrative of each person's life. By learning to recognize and interpret these emotions, we're learning to understand that narrative. Next, we turn to body language, the silent yet expressive language of the body. Body language is like an ever-open book, narrating stories without uttering a single word, a subtle shrug, the fleeting smile, a furrowed brow or the stance one takes are all potent indicators of their thoughts and emotions. Buddha recognized the body as a reflection of the mind. By becoming adept at reading body language, we can decode the silent messages people convey. This section will guide you through the nuances of facial expressions and body movements, helping you to interpret these silent signals accurately. In our day-to-day -day lives, this knowledge of body language can profoundly impact our interactions. Perhaps you'll notice a colleague's stress simply by observing their posture or understand a partner's need for space from their stance. These insights allow us to respond appropriately and compassionately. Smoothing out our interactions and fostering a more harmonious environment. Buddha taught the importance of mindfulness and being present in the moment. By attuning ourselves to the body language of others, we embody this teaching, fully engaging with the world around us. This journey of understanding is ongoing, and as we delve deeper into the art of empathy and connection, we continue to transform our interactions and enhance our collective experience. Let's proceed with this exploration, ready to embrace the vast and varied emotional landscape of humanity with curiosity and compassion. We're focusing on the silent cues people give us so in this part of our journey, we'll delve into the realm of body language. It's about learning an alternative way of listening, not through our ears, but with our eyes. By becoming attuned to these unspoken signals, we can delve deeper into understanding people, paving the way for more profound connections and a more empathetic world. As we progress, Let's remain vigilant to the silent narratives all around us, learning to interpret them with compassion and insight, making every interaction more significant and heartfelt. Next, we approach the magic of listening, understanding beyond mere words. Listening is akin to unlocking a door into someone else's reality. It's not just about processing sounds. It's about empathizing with their feelings and seeing the world from their perspective. In this section we'll discover how to truly listen, not just with our ears, but with our entire being. Buddha once conveyed that, through attentive listening, we illuminate the dark corners of someone's soul. This implies that by listening attentively, we can uplift and enlighten others, turning on a light in their moments of darkness. Consider the warmth and validation you feel when someone truly listens to you. That's the feeling we aim to provide others when we engage in active listening. This involves full engagement with the speaker, absorbing every word and emotion, like piecing together a puzzle to see the complete picture. However, listening can sometimes be challenging, with distractions or preoccupations leading us astray. We'll explore strategies to maintain focus and truly be there for the speaker, setting aside our own thoughts and immersing ourselves in their narrative. Being a good listener is invaluable. It can resolve conflicts, deepen relationships, and simplify professional interactions. It's akin to a superpower that enhances life for everyone involved. Buddha urged us to cultivate kindness and mindfulness. And when we listen with genuine compassion, we contribute to a kinder world. We'll also delve into empathic listening which involves connecting with and understanding the speaker's emotions, not just their words. This profound level of understanding can mend wounds and strengthen bonds. As we continue, we'll learn about the art of inquiry, building bridges of understanding through asking the right questions. Questioning is akin to a detective's quest for understanding, not to solve a mystery, but to comprehend someone more deeply. Buddha posited that complete understanding leads to forgiveness and compassion. 
Thus, posing thoughtful questions is a crucial step in understanding others. We'll distinguish between different types of questions, like open-ended ones, that allow for expansive, personal responses, offering insights into the speaker's thoughts and emotions. The manner and timing of posing these questions are equally important. A question asked with consideration and at an opportune moment can encourage openness and sharing. In various aspects of life, from friendships to work, asking thoughtful questions enriches interactions and resolves issues. Buddha emphasized the importance of kindness and thoughtfulness in all interactions, including when asking questions. Including when asking questions. It's not merely about gathering information, but about connecting and empathizing with the individual. We'll also emphasize the significance of attentively listening to the answers, being open to surprises, and embarking on a journey of discovery together. As we advance, we'll practice crafting questions that demonstrate care and a desire to understand, strengthening our relationships and enriching our understanding of others. Let's commit to asking with a gentle heart and an open mind, engaging in conversations that deepen our knowledge of one another. This approach fosters understanding and connection, making the world a more united and compassionate place. Finally, we'll explore understanding empathy, feeling alongside others. Empathy involves stepping into someone else's experiences and sharing their emotions. It goes beyond merely recognizing emotions to experiencing them alongside the person. In this part, we'll learn how to cultivate our empathy and grasp its significance. Buddha taught that kindness and empathy are integral to a peaceful life, suggesting that when we resonate with others' feelings, we foster harmony and understanding. As we journey through these topics, our aim is to enhance our ability to understand, connect with, and support those around us. Each skill we develop brings us closer to a more understanding, empathetic, and peaceful existence. Let's embark on this path with eagerness and an open heart, ready to embrace the diverse emotional landscapes of those we encounter, making every interaction more meaningful and every relationship more profound. In this part, we're turning our focus to the silent signals others send our way. As we progress in our journey, we'll delve into the realm of body language, essentially learning to listen in a new way. Not with our ears, but with our ears, but with our eyes. By tuning into these quiet cues, we can gain a deeper understanding of people, taking steps towards more profound connections and fostering a compassionate environment. As we advance, let's remain vigilant, ready to decode the silent stories unfolding around us, interpreting them with empathy and thoughtfulness, thus enriching every exchange. Next up, the magic of listening, comprehending beyond mere words. Listening is akin to unlocking a gateway into another person's soul. It involves more than hearing sounds. It's about genuinely connecting with their emotions and seeing their world from their perspective. We look at how to truly listen, not only with our ears, but also with our hearts. Buddha said that effective listening allows us to illuminate the darkness. When we listen attentively, we can bring comfort and understanding, shining a light in the dim corners of someone's experiences. Think about the comfort you feel when someone genuinely listens to you. It's affirming and nurturing. We aim to extend this same sense of understanding and care when we listen to others. We'll explore different listening techniques, such as active listening, where we fully engage with what the other person is expressing, not merely waiting for our turn, but genuinely seeking to understand. However, maintaining focus during listening can be challenging. Our minds might drift, or we may become preoccupied with our thoughts. We'll discuss strategies to keep us anchored to the conversation, fully present for the individual speaking. Being an adept listener is invaluable. It can dissolve conflicts, deepen relationships, and facilitate smoother interactions in all areas of life. Buddha emphasized the importance of kindness and consideration in our thoughts. Thus, when we listen with compassion, we contribute to a gentler, more understanding world. 
We'll also delve into empathetic listening, aiming to feel what the other person is experiencing, beyond just understanding their words. This profound connection can heal and unite, and we'll learn about the transformative power of listening throughout this part of our journey. Moving on, we'll explore the significance of asking the right questions, a method akin to building bridges of understanding. Like a detective seeking to understand rather than solve a mystery, we'll learn how to ask questions that foster deeper connections. Buddha taught that to understand all is to forgive all, implying that comprehensive understanding can lead to empathy and compassion. There are various types of questions we can pose. Some open doors for people to share more about their thoughts and feelings. These are known as open-ended questions. For instance, rather than asking if someone is sad, we might ask how they feel about a particular situation, inviting them to express themselves in their own words. It's also crucial to consider the manner and timing of our inquiries. The tone of our voice and the context in which we pose questions can significantly impact the openness and authenticity of the response. Asking questions is not just for gaining information. It's about understanding and connecting on a deeper level. We'll learn to listen carefully to the answers, too, as they might reveal unexpected or unfamiliar perspectives. This part of our journey is about mastering the skill of asking insightful questions in a way that demonstrates our genuine interest and care, enhancing our relationships and understanding of those around us. We'll focus on understanding and cultivating empathy, the ability to step into someone else's shoes and truly comprehend their emotions. More than just recognizing if someone is sad or happy, empathy involves sharing those feelings. We'll explore how to develop our empathic abilities and understand why it's crucial. Buddha, a wise and compassionate teacher, emphasized that kindness and empathy are foundational to a peaceful life. By empathizing with others, we not only support them, but also expand our capacity for kindness. Empathy begins with an interest in other people's stories, listening, asking about their feelings, and imagining ourselves in their situation. It's a powerful tool for connection and care. We'll also differentiate between empathy and sympathy, understanding that empathy involves a deeper, more connected form of shared feeling. Empathy enhances all aspects of life, helping us better understand friends, family, and colleagues thereby solving problems and fostering closer bonds. As we continue, let's embrace these skills and insights. I mean to create a world where every person feels understood and valued. This is a step towards a more empathetic and loving world. In this part, we're honing our focus on the silent messages that people around us are constantly transmitting. This chapter of our journey delves into the world of body language, akin to learning a novel method of listening not through our auditory senses, but with our visual ones. By attuning ourselves to these mute signals, we're able to deepen our understanding of others, leading to more significant connections and nurturing a more empathetic world. Let's proceed with open eyes and hearts, ready to interpret these silent narratives with compassion and understanding, making every exchange more profound and heartfelt. We now turn to the magic of listening, which goes far beyond mere words. Listening is about opening a door to someone's inner world. It's not just about the sounds we hear. It's about connecting with what people feel and seeing the world from their perspectives. In this part, we'll explore how to listen genuinely, with both our ears and hearts. As Buddha suggested, through listening, we reach into the dark corners and illuminate them. Thus, when we listen intently, we're not only understanding, but also brightening someone's world, like turning on a light in a dim room. Consider how you feel when someone truly listens to you. It's comforting and makes you feel valued. That's the kind of empathetic attention we aim to offer others. We'll introduce different methods of listening, like active listening, where you fully engage with what the other person is saying, not just waiting for your turn, but seeking to understand their complete message. But let's acknowledge, staying fully tuned in can be tough. 
distractions abound, and our thoughts often drift. We'll discuss strategies to maintain focus and presence, ensuring we're truly there for the person sharing with us. Being a skilled listener is an invaluable tool. It helps dissolve conflicts, deepen relationships, and make every aspect of life more harmonious. By listening with kindness, as Buddha taught, we contribute to creating a more compassionate world. Additionally, we'll explore empathetic listening, where we strive to feel what the other person is feeling, a profound connection that can heal and strengthen bonds. Next, we'll discuss the importance of asking the right questions, akin to building bridges of understanding. Like detectives, we seek to understand, not to solve a mystery. We'll learn how to craft questions that deepen our connections with others. Buddha's teaching suggests that understanding leads to compassion and thoughtful questioning is a critical step in this process. We'll differentiate between various types of questions and how they can open pathways to deeper understanding. We'll also emphasize the importance of how and when we ask these questions, as our approach can significantly influence the response. We'll also delve into cultivating empathy, the ability to step into someone else's shoes and truly understand their emotions. This involves more than just recognizing their feelings. It's about experiencing their feelings. It's about experiencing them alongside the person. We'll explore strategies to enhance our empathic abilities, underscoring why it's so crucial. Buddha, as a wise and compassionate guide, stressed that understanding and kindness are essential for a peaceful existence. By fostering empathy, we not only support others, but also expand our own hearts. Next, we will explore different cultures, understanding that to truly understand people, we must understand where they come from including their cultural background. Each culture expresses emotions, communicates and behaves in unique ways. This part of our journey is about embracing the diversity of minds shaped by various cultures. Buddha encouraged kindness and respect for all life, highlighting that understanding and respecting differences lead to positive outcomes. We'll learn about cultural nuances in emotional expression and communication, keeping an open mind and respecting all cultures as equally valid and valuable. This knowledge enriches our lives, enhances work and travel experiences, and allows us to forge friendships worldwide. Then we'll tackle overcoming biases and prejudices, recognizing that these are like invisible glasses coloring our perception. These biases might stem from past experiences, societal norms, or media influence. Buddha taught that a clear mind is the bedrock of wisdom and understanding. We'll learn to identify and challenge our biases, striving to see people as they truly are, not through the distorted lens of prejudice. This effort not only makes us fairer, but also broadens our perspective, allowing us to appreciate the rich tapestry of human diversity. By shedding these biases, we open ourselves to forming more genuine and deeper connections. Now let's discuss the role of compassion in understanding others. Compassion is a gentle illumination that helps us see into people's hearts. It involves feeling for others and a desire to alleviate their suffering. Buddha regarded compassion as a paramount virtue, teaching that helping others also lights our path. Compassionate understanding goes beyond mere recognition of someone's troubles. It involves a willingness to stand with them in their struggles and offer support. Compassion might manifest in words, actions, or simple gestures, but always with patience and a recognition that true understanding sometimes takes time. In this part of our journey, we're emphasizing the importance of patience, essentially providing individuals the space they need to reveal themselves. In our everyday experiences, Exercising compassion can radically transform our interaction. It has the potential to morph arguments into dialogues and strangers, into friends, making our families more united and our workplaces more understanding. It's akin to a magical ingredient that enriches all relationships. Buddha emphasized treating all beings with kindness, essentially stating that everyone is deserving of our compassion, regardless of who they are. 
When we adopt this approach, we start to see the positive in people and comprehend them on a more profound level. We'll dedicate ourselves to practicing compassion in our daily conversations, striving to understand others' perspectives and empathize with them. This doesn't mean we must always concur, but we strive to grasp their viewpoint. In this section, we'll delve into the transformative power of compassion observing how it facilitates our understanding of others and injects more warmth and kindness into our lives. Let's proceed with hearts full of compassion, seeking to understand and support others, thus fostering connections and enhancing the world. Next, we're focusing on self-awareness, the initial step in understanding others. Being self-aware is akin to possessing a map of your own psyche, aiding in comprehending your thoughts and emotions. This is vital as understanding ourselves lays the groundwork for understanding others. In this part, we'll discuss how self-awareness enhances our ability to read others. Buddha taught that self-knowledge is crucial to understanding the world, meaning when we're attuned to our own emotions and thoughts, we're better equipped to understand others. Imagine being in a conversation and suddenly feeling upset. Self-awareness prompts you to pause and contemplate the source of your upset. It's about introspection, not just reacting. We'll develop strategies to monitor our thoughts and emotions, like internal detectives unraveling the mysteries of our minds. We'll identify the triggers of our various emotional states, helping us see past our biases and judgment. These are the lenses that distort our perception of others. By understanding ourselves, we can remove these lenses and see others more accurately. Self-awareness is not only beneficial in personal growth, but also enhances our interactions in daily life, making us better friends, family members, and even colleagues. Following that, we'll explore mindfulness as a tool for improved connections. Mindfulness is about being fully present, attentive to the happenings within and around us. It's a kind of superpower that clarifies our perception. We'll learn how mindfulness aids in understanding others' thoughts and emotions. Buddha often spoke of mindfulness, highlighting how our thoughts are potent and shape our interactions. When we're mindful, we exercise better control over our thoughts, utilizing them to better understand and connect with others. Mindfulness involves being completely engaged in the conversation not distracted by past or future concerns. When we're truly present, we pick up on subtle cues like changes in someone's voice or their body language, which might otherwise go unnoticed. We'll explore various mindfulness practices, simple yet effective ways to ensure we're fully tuned into the conversation. Being mindful also helps us recognize and understand our reactions during interactions, during interactions. It's crucial for understanding the interplay between our feelings and those of the person we're engaging with, making it easier to navigate conversations and relationships. Let's discuss the role of patience in understanding others. Patience is akin to nurturing a seed. It doesn't sprout immediately, but with time. It grows into something beautiful. When we're patient, we give both ourselves and others the opportunity to express and understand akin to allowing someone the time they need to complete a puzzle. Think about the depth and clarity you might miss if you rush someone sharing their feelings. With patience, they have the space to articulate their true emotions, offering a clearer understanding of their experience. We'll learn how to cultivate patience in our interactions, embracing quiet moments and resisting the urge to jump to conclusions. Patience helps us manage our reactions, giving us a moment to understand the root of our emotions before responding. It's invaluable in all aspects of life, strengthening our connections with families, friends, and colleagues. It's about constructing a bridge, carefully and methodically. It takes time, but the result is robust and lasting. Buddha taught that a calm mind brings inner strength and self-confidence, so it's important to be patient. As we progress, let's focus on being patient, providing everyone the chance to express themselves fully, thus deepening our understanding and connections. Each step forward is a move towards a more understanding, 
compassionate, and connected world. In this part, we're concentrating on how patience aids our understanding. By remaining patient, our minds stay tranquil, allowing us to perceive beyond the superficial and grasp the deeper emotions and thoughts of others. We'll practice patience in various scenarios, perhaps by waiting longer for someone to respond or maintaining serenity in the face of delay. Each act of patience honors our ability to understand others. So, as we move forward, we're going to recognize the significance of patience, observing how it allows us a glimpse into the hearts and minds of people. Let's endeavor to be patient with others and ourselves, understanding it's a subtle yet potent means to decipher what others are thinking and feeling, essential in forming profound and meaningful connection. Next, we'll learn to listen without judgment, akin to offering someone a blank canvas to freely express their thoughts and feelings. It involves hearing someone out without immediately labeling their views as right or wrong. This kind of listening is key in truly understanding others and fostering stronger bonds. Buddha taught that an open heart and mind are crucial. By listening without prejudice, we can genuinely comprehend and care for others. Imagine your friend discussing a problem. If you listen openly, without judgment, they can share their entire story, like a bird soaring freely. We'll practice this non-judgmental listening, learning to temporarily set aside our opinions and just reflect what the other person is saying. This approach can be transformative in daily interactions, encouraging trust and closeness with family, friends, and colleagues. Finally, we'll delve into emotional intelligence, which is akin to having a special lens to see not just what people do, but also what they feel. It involves understanding both our own and others' emotions, a crucial skill for deepening connections. In this last part, we'll see how emotional intelligence aids in comprehending others' thoughts and feelings, fostering strong bonds. Buddha emphasized the power of our thoughts and emotions. Managing them wisely is at the heart of emotional intelligence. It's about responding to others with empathy and kindness. For instance, understanding the root of someone's upset allows us to respond helpfully rather than reactively. We'll cover the facets of emotional intelligence, recognizing our emotions managing our reactions, making decisions influenced by our emotions, understanding others' emotions, and effective communication. Each aspect is a tool enhancing our connections. Emotional intelligence significantly improves our interactions with family and friends, enhances professional success, and contributes to personal contentment. It's like a guide for navigating emotions and relationships. Now let's focus on applying emotional intelligence in our everyday interactions, aiming to understand our emotions and those of others. This is instrumental in truly grasping the minds and hearts of those around us and forging strong, caring relationships. Our exploration into the art of understanding, guided by Buddhist wisdom, has been insightful, enhancing our self-growth and enriching our interactions. We've learned valuable lessons about emotions and behavior that are applicable in daily life. Starting with the basics, we've progressively built a comprehensive toolkit for understanding and connecting with others. As we move forward, let's carry these lessons with us, continuing to grow and deepen our relationships. This journey is not just about deciphering others' thoughts. It's about evolving ourselves and enriching the bonds we have with the people in our lives. We've delved into the foundational skills of recognizing emotions and body language, crucial elements in forging connections with others. Effective listening has been a core theme. It's more than merely hearing words. It's about deeply understanding the sentiments and thoughts conveyed when we attentively listen and pick up on the unsaid cues. We significantly enhance our comprehension of others. We've also ventured into empathy and the appreciation of diverse cultures. Learning to view the world through someone else's lens 
and acknowledging that individuals from different backgrounds may have varied ways of thinking and behaving. We recognize the importance of not letting our preconceptions or past experiences unfairly influence our perceptions, allowing us to see individuals more authentically. Patience emerged as a vital attribute in our discussions. Just as a seed slowly blossoms into a plant, understanding others is a gradual process. When we're patient, we provide the necessary space for individuals to express their thoughts and emotion. This patience isn't passive. It's a dynamic, considerate weight that significantly contributes to our understanding of others. A significant focus has been on compassion. It's not merely about kindness. It's about actively engaging with others' emotions in a constructive and caring manner. Communicating and acting with compassion creates a safe environment for people, leading to stronger, more genuine connections. The journey to understand others is continuous, encouraging us to remain inquisitive, keep learning, and apply mindfulness and emotional intelligence in our interactions. These aren't just concepts. They're practical skills that improve with practice. Buddha emphasized that sharing knowledge is beneficial both to oneself and others. As we implement what we've learned, sharing these insights can enrich our lives and contribute to a kinder, more interconnected world. Mindfulness, a significant part of Buddha's teachings, is essential in our dialogues, helping us respond with kindness and understanding. It's a vital tool in grasping the intricacies of people's hearts and minds. As we conclude this series, we express gratitude for the insights gained. We've unraveled the complexities of human behavior and cognition, delving into the intricate world of emotions and thoughts that dictate our interactions. Moving forward, let's apply the wisdom acquired. The knowledge gleaned from understanding the art of reading minds, inspired by Buddhist teachings, highlights the transformative power of understanding, kindness, and connection. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. If you found value in this exploration, consider subscribing to our channel and activating notifications to stay updated on future videos.